My name is Lewis Bramlett, and I'm a volunteer with the Stanley County Historical Society. Back in 2017, the Historical Society held a very special event to honor former Admiral High School football coach Toby Webb. We had a wonderful turnout of men who had played on various teams that he had coached. As a part of that event, I shared a brief history of the life and career of Coach Webb, and the story I'm going to share today is that presentation. Henry Thomas Webb Jr., better known as Toby, was born to Henry and Mary Sorry Webb on December 20, 1920, in Tarboro, North Carolina. A brief announcement appeared the following day in the local newspaper called The Daily Southerner. The announcement stated, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Webb are being congratulated upon the advent of a son yesterday. According to census records, Webb's father was working at a hardware store at the time, but later worked for the local Coca-Cola bottling plant in Tarboro, and then in Newport News, Virginia. Webb attended school at the local school system in Tarboro, and he attended Tarboro High School from 1934 until 1938. While in high school, he played on the football, baseball, and basketball teams. The school had some outstanding football teams during the end of the 1930s and into the very early 1940s. The Greensboro Daily News once gave credit to Webb and his brothers, Corky and Bill, for much of the football team's success. Webb graduated from Tarboro High School with the class of 1938. According to the caption with his picture in the yearbook from his senior year, he was voted noisiest and most athletic boy. After graduating from Tarboro High School, Toby attended Fork Union Military Academy in Fork Union, Virginia. I contacted the school, and they did have a record of his having attended in the fall of 1938. I had hoped they might have a picture, but they didn't have a copy of the yearbook from his time there. Whip next attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where he played on the football team. According to the November 14, 1941 Daily Tar Heel, he was one of the smallest players on the team. At football practice, he always insisted that he wear a dirty practice shirt during every drill. Webb later graduated from Carolina with a bachelor's degree in physical education in 1943. Webb reported to the Marine Corps on July 21, 1943. He spent the next three years in the service, including 18 months on active duty in the Pacific. On Saturday, May 5, 1945, Toby Webb married Mary Elizabeth Foster, daughter of Charles and Electa Foster of Elkin, North Carolina. They were married at Calvary Episcopal Church in Tarboro. They later had two children, H.T. Webb III, who was born in 1948, and Mary Foster Webb, who was born in 1950. After leaving the military, Webb returned to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill to attend graduate school. While he was there, he served as a coach of the JV football team and was a scout for Carolina's varsity team that was led by head coach Carl Snavely. Webb attained his master's degree in May of 1947. On May 8, 1947, the Admiral High School football coach, M.J. Delato, announced his resignation in order to take a job in Portland, Oregon. Later in the month, during the week of May 26, the school board announced that Toby Webb was hired as his replacement. According to the August 8, 1947 Stanley News and Press, Coach Webb had arrived in Albemarle on Monday the 4th and immediately began preparations for the upcoming season. I want to share an interesting side story about something that happened after his arrival. Several years ago, I visited with Frances Hines in LaGrange, Georgia. Her father was W.L. Mann, who was a very prominent lawyer in Albemarle. He served for many years as the head of the local school board. Frances said that when Coach Webb first came to town, he was supposed to meet with her father, but he didn't show up. Her father had a key to the school gym, so he decided to go look for him. Frances went on to say that her father found Coach Webb at the gym and was surprised to find all of his belongings there as well. Coach Webb explained that he hadn't been able to find a place to live. Frances said her father had Coach Webb and his wife move into the man home where they lived for quite some time. Over the next 12 seasons as head coach of the Admiral High School football team, Coach Webb compiled a record of 101 wins, 
21 losses, and six ties. His teams won six conference titles, three Piedmont titles, and two Western North Carolina Athletic Association championships. I'm now going to take a break for a minute and share pictures of each of Coach Webb's teams. Next, I will show you a few minutes of film footage from one of Coach Webb's games. During the time Toby Webb served as Admiral's head coach, there were a number of other events that happened that I want to share. First, he was named Coach of the Year in 1953 and 1955. 
In August of 1954, he served as one of the two head coaches of the West team in the East-West All-Star Game. Coach Webb's team won 41 to 0. Also in 1954, Coach Webb was honored to be chosen as an assistant coach on the North Carolina team that played South Carolina in the Shrine Bowl on December 4th. In February of 1956, Coach Jim Tatum at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill offered Coach Webb a job as freshman football coach and scout. Thankfully, he turned down the offer. In April of 1958, Coach Webb made a surprise announcement that he planned to quit coaching after the following season. He accepted the job as principal of the new Albemarle Junior High School, and for the 1958-59 school year, he served as both coach of the high school football team and school administrator. In 1958, Coach Webb was chosen head coach of the North Carolina Shrine Bowl team that played on December 6th. His team beat South Carolina 26-20. If you are interested in more details about Coach Webb's time as head football coach at Admiral High School, there is a book that is available at the Stanley County History Center. This book includes the highlights of Coach Webb's career that I'm going over today. Also included is the schedule and records for each of his teams. The majority of the book is made up of the Full Moon newspaper article recaps of each game during Coach Webb's tenure as head coach. In addition, there is also a small booklet available about the history of the football stadium, now known as Webb Field, that is located beside the old Admiral High School building. On February 16, 1959, it was announced by Admiral City School Superintendent Claude Grigg that Coach Webb was officially stepping down as head football coach at Admiral High School. He remained as the principal of the Admiral Junior High. In late June of 1960, it was announced that Coach Webb would replace J.L. Cashwell as the principal of Albemarle Senior High. In March of 1966, Claude Gregg, who had served as superintendent of the Albemarle City School System for 32 years, announced his retirement. The city school board announced at their March 10 meeting that Coach Webb would be hired as Gregg's replacement. He took over the role on July 1st. During Coach Webb's time with the school system, he was a member of a number of professional organizations. These included the North Carolina Association of Educators, the American Association of School Administrators, and the Horace Mann League. In addition to his work with the school system, he was very active in the community as well. He was a member of the Lions Club and Chamber of Commerce. He was also a deacon and elder at First Presbyterian Church, where he started the men's prayer breakfast. Due to Coach Webb's nearly 30-year commitment to the development of the young people of Albemarle, he was given an Honorary Doctorate of Public Administration degree by Pfeiffer College at the commencement ceremony on May 16, 1976. In 1979, Dr. Webb retired as superintendent of the Albemarle City School System. In order to continue to shape the young minds of our community, Dr. Webb became a member of the Board of Trustees at Stanley Community College in 1984. He continued in this role until 2012. In 1989, Dr. Webb was one of the first two inductees in the Stanley County Sports Hall of Fame. In 1992, he was inducted into the North Carolina High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame. In the fall of 1998, the Student Center at Stanley Community College was renamed the Webb Student Center in his honor. Also during 1998, a number of Dr. Webb's former football players contributed to a project that had been started in the Albemarle community to renovate the field beside the old high school building where they had played. The field was renamed Webb Athletic Field in his honor. In the spring of 2004, the Crutchfield Family Foundation honored Dr. Webb with the creation of the Dr. H.T. Toby Webb Jr. Scholarship Program at Stanley Community College. Pictured are just a few of the men who have been awarded this scholarship. Due to the wonderful support of his players, since 2006, the Toby Webb Coach of the Year Award has been given by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association to an outstanding male and female coach in North Carolina. In December of 2010, Dr. Webb was awarded one of the highest honors the Governor of North Carolina can bestow. 
Dr. Webb was given the Order of the Longleaf Pine Award for his many years of service to Stanley Community College and the community at large. On April 30, 2012, Stanley Community College held a special luncheon honoring Dr. Webb. Over 50 of his former players were able to attend. And finally, in August of 2017, the Stanley County Historical Society and Stanley County History Center held an event to honor Coach Webb at Central Elementary that is located in the old Albrol High School building. The following pictures are from that event. In closing, I wanted to paraphrase a quote from the 1954 Crossroads Yearbook that was dedicated to Coach Webb. We the people of Stanley County proudly remember this man who held as his purpose in life our success and never ceased to work and inspire others to strive for the highest goals in life, honesty, integrity, leadership, character, and service. It is with pride that we express our love and appreciation as we honor one of the finest men from North Carolina. Dr. H.T. Toby Webb.